So today's review is out here in beautiful Sevierville, Tennessee, and it's a local favorite, local institution. We're gonna give you a local perspective and a transplant's perspective. We decided we're finally gonna take this review to market because we've been grilled about it so much. This is where you're gonna find out what the slaw is all about because this is Frank Allen Market and Grill. Frank Allen Market and Grill is located inside the Marathon gas station at 930 Parkway here in Sevierville. Even at a gas station, ladies first. Always. Let's take a quick look around Frank Allen's. Uh, it is mostly booth seating. Uh, there is one table in the back. But you've got your booths that are well equipped with your ketchup, paper towels, salt and pepper and the like. And then here is the bar. Lots and lots of bar stools here. We didn't count them, but there are quite a few. And it's very comfortable. Here up on the screen you have the menu. You've got uh, several different kinds of hot dogs, three sides. Onion rings, french fries and coleslaw. On the other side, you've got different kinds of sandwiches as well as that two foot long Grand Betty. Hello, Miss Julie. Hello. I have always wondered what is a chuck wagon sandwich? It's a deep fried beef. Is it served like a country fried steak? Yes, yeah, sort of. What comes on it? Whatever you want. If you want it on the bone, you get mayonnaise, lettuce, tomato, onion, ketchup. Oh, wow. I think, I'm, I think I'm definitely going to try one of those. Chuck wagon with lettuce, tomato, onion, and mayonnaise. I definitely have tried the slaw dog and onion rings. What are you having? Mm. No, that's going to be the tough one. Hamburger steak man. <laughs> Hamburger steak man? You know what? Yeah. That sounds good. That. It comes with the fries, the slaw, and the toast. Very nice. And here is your drink station. And as you can see, everything is made to order on the grill. The makings of Dolly's favorite dog, Claw Dog from Frank Allen's Grill. Smoky Mountain Faith Food and Fun History Lesson. So your history lesson involves the history of the slaw dog. Tell us about it. Okay, so I'm a northerner. Most people know that. I came to Tennessee 14 or so years ago. And people would, there would be slaw dogs on menus. And I'm like, what in the world is a slaw dog? And someone would describe it as coleslaw, chili, mustard, and onion and I just thought that sounded nasty I'll be honest sounded nasty um, but I tried one and I like them and the, the saw dog originated near Charleston West Virginia during the P depression and it kind of infiltrated through the south and now it is sort of the standard order for a hot dog in the south that's right so Frank Allen's had always been a local hangout to begin with Frank Allen's really blew up though because Dolly did an interview with Southern Living magazine in June of 2010 and that's when she told the world <laughs> they have the best slaw dogs and every time I'm in town I gotta have a slaw dog from Frank Allen's and that's when it became nationally renowned that's when people 
you know, people would come from all over just to try the slaw dogs. And so that's really what put Frank Allen's on the map was Dolly's interview with Southern Living in 2010. So a little bit of history on Frank Allen himself and his wife Ernestine because she was a big part as well. Uh, they opened for business in 1953, January of 1953, and then they started, but they didn't serve hamburgers until 1961. That's the thing. Like I said, originally, Frank Allen's was a hot dog place, and then the hamburgers came into play in 1961. The old Frank Allen's uh, is actually still a gas station today, and you wouldn't even know where it is if, well, you didn't have me to tell you, I don't think because the gas station that is directly across from Walmart in Sevierville, that was 1415 Parkway. That is where Frank Allen's actually was. Uh, and now they're in the location here. They moved just down the street, basically, um, just south of the old location. Uh, Frank, like I said, used to it open as a grocery store and Frank delivered groceries. And Frank actually kept a rolling store for quite some time. And he would actually barter with people in the community uh, for groceries. So, you know, if people wanted to swap eggs or whatever, he would do that. And so I always thought that was a neat thing, but Frank had a really a great, just aura about him. He was a great man and he loved kids. He loved when kids came into the store. It wasn't uncommon for him to give you a sucker or something like that. I remember Frank growing up. Uh, sadly, we lost Frank. Uh, he was 90 years old though. 90 years old uh, in October of 2021. So, like I said, but the family did sell the market here to Kenjo, and but they are still coming in to make that famous slaw. And so, when you come here, you are still getting Frank Allen's recipe when you get a slaw dog. So, gas station culture in the South is a thing. That's just, I know Christy said she was a little foreign to it, but the gas station really kind of was a community hangout. Um, you might even call it the old man's club. The old man would come in in the morning, get them a cup of coffee, sit down, talk about the weather, talk about the old women. About three and a half, four hours they sit and talk right there. <laughs> <laughs> Julie will tell you. Miss Julie's telling us all about the local culture. For a year that I've been here, they come in every morning, whether we're open or not, and they'll sit there and drink coffee and talk. Because it's the community. <laughs> Yeah, they yeah. grew up together is what it is, and they're all pretty much close to the same age. Alright, so Frank Allen's being a local institution, it's had its fair share of celebrities here, and of course Dolly, our hometown girl, this is her go-to order. Uh, these are the slaw dogs here, chili, onion, mustard, fresh buns, they're steamed hot dogs, and that beautiful homemade slaw, which is mayonnaise-based. All right, so I am a connoisseur of hot dogs, and slaw dogs are kind of foreign to me, although I have embraced them since I've been in the South for, <laughs> what is it, like 13 years now? So, but I have never tried Frank Allen's slaw dog. This is my first time here. Yep. Um, believe it or not. Show us that slaw. It is very creamy. Yes. And then the hot dog sauce. Oh boy. I don't know how to twirl a hot dog. <laughs> are you going twirl to twirl the plate? Is that what you're, are you twir you're twirling the plate and the hot I'm dog? I'm twirling them both. I'm multi-twirling. Multi is that like patting your head and rubbing your belly? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's hard to do. Wow, okay. Dolly knows what she's talking about with that. Okay. It's just good. That it's is Dolly's go to order. Saw dog. Yummy. Yep. All right, so I am getting the chuck wagon sandwich. I'm intrigued. I've never had one before. Uh, Miss Julie says that it is a deep That's fried a, beef patty, it is kind a deep of fried like beef a patty. Um, country fried, fried steak. steak. And then look at those amazing battered onion rings. All right, so. I have a big job ahead of me, and I'm hungry. We didn't eat breakfast. I have been intrigued by a chuck wagon sandwich, which Brooke says is mystery meat. I call it mystery meat. <laughs> it's it's not. It's a deep um, fried beef patty. I'm a pork tenderloin girl, as you guys know. So 
so I thought I would try the chuck wagon. First of all, yeah, look at the size of that. Lettuce, fresh, tomato, onion. Fresh tomato, onion, Mayo pickles. and cheese. Yeah. You get mayonnaise, no mustard, is that right? No mustard. Right, no mustard, but mayonnaise. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm curious as to your thoughts on that. That's really good. I didn't know what to expect, really. Okay. That is okay. not your pork tenderloin. No, it's beef. Or mystery meat. I think it's beef. She says it's beef. <laughs> <laughs> Julie says it's a it's a. But it's beef really fried beef bag. really crispy and crunchy. Yes. And the fresh, the fre it's very fresh. Okay, very fresh tasting. Yes. Um, I'm sure these are pre-frozen, but it doesn't taste that way to me. Um, it's yummy. I, I definitely like that. Okay. I'm not kidding. That's good. Onion Like, rings. I think people are missing out if they don't try the, the chuck wagon. So now, onion rings. Uh, onion, ring, onion rings are my thing. One ring. You ain't got that thing if you ain't got an onion ring. Do up, do up, do up, do up. <laughs> okay, so I need ketchup with my onion rings. One ring to rule them all. Huh. Now these are battered, which is kind of the only way I'll eat them. That's your thing. If they're breaded, I don't want them. Yes. There's a cute little doggy over there. Yes. <laughs> Must be pet friendly. There you go. What do you think about that? Oh, wow. Okay. Hello. You a fan of the onion rings? Are you twirling the onion rings? Twirling? Ring? Spinning? Twirling. <laughs> okay. All right, those are good. So Really you, good. So Very you approve crunchy. of your first visit to Frank Allen? I right? do. Um, they are famous for burgers, but we didn't want a burger today. That's right. Okay. Wow. All right, those are perfect. Perfect onion ring. Good deal. I am doing the hamburger steak dinner. Hamburger steak, you can see that that's padded out. That is ground round, 85.15. You've got toast points, you've got the slaw, and fresh crinkle fries. So what are you gonna talk about? So what do you wanna talk about? I wanna talk about Frank Allen's. And I wanna talk about the hamburger steak dinner. For me, this is a great hamburger steak. And, Heinz 57. So now that's my question. Are you a Heinz 57 or an A1 person? Because... Or both, naked. Or both nothing. were offered to me. But I'm going to be honest with you. I don't just like the Heinz 57 for the hamburger steak. That would probably even be good on the chuck wagon, I'm thinking. I might try that. No, I'm, I'm a little weird. I do it a little bit different. Fries. <laughs> yeah. Pretty sure that would be good on anything. Heinz 57's good stuff. They're just good crinkle fries. It's just simple. Now, what I like to do, too, with... You could make a steak sandwich. The hamburger steak dinner. Keep in mind, this is padded out, look too. How, look how nice and tender that is. Well, it's padded out. That's ground round that they use here. It's 85.15. Which is the same they do use in their burgers. Same as the burgers. Fresh. Now. He's going to make his own steak burger. Uh-uh. Look oh, here. A slaw burger? Oh, yeah. I'm going all the way. I'm making a little toast point. Hamburger steak. <laughs> Buttery toast, creamy slaw, great hamburger steak. I get the hamburger steak because I do have another hamburger, as good as they say Frank Allen's is. I have a hamburger that I do like better in the county. But there are great things here. And coincidentally, awesome things here. coincidentally that started in a gas station too. Yes. Talking about chubbies. But here, this. I like their slaw. What yes. Do you think? So the tang of the Heinz 57, creaminess of the slaw, 
the great meat that they're using and then the butter on the toast i feel that and they're using the old school toaster yes which is awesome for me a nice well-rounded out dinner and i love it so frank gallons is all about community it's a local family. place a local place family and brooks has just run into family that he didn't know he had <laughs> how about that this, not. this is brooks second cousin second cousin nancy on his mamaw's side on, on on dad's side which would make on the parton side yeah so nancy is telling us all about um some of the famous people who come yep. in here and still come in here yep. so we'll talk about that in a some little of the bit. family but, but it is about community my love you've been to you've been initiated to frank allen's now i have it took a long time didn't it yes it did oh uh, wow okay so we have really had a great experience here um community we have we have met friends who we didn't know were friends we have met family who we didn't know was family miss nancy is brooke's second cousin which is kind of kind of cool um on his mamaw's side and um let's talk about the food slaw dog like i said dolly even knows what she's talking about um it is good it is a really good um representation of a slaw dog um probably one of my favorites here in the area uh miss nancy was telling us that uh she sends them over to miss willadine who is dolly's oldest sister uh quite frequently she's yep. still around still and does. uh it's just as much as they've been voted most best hamburger it's all about the slaw dog yes it, it is. really is and then the chuck wagon okay i have never had that but it is very similar to like a pork tenderloin sandwich that you might get at a drive-in um similar to what i've had up north at drive-ins but to me it was much fresher uh the, the tomatoes that lettuce honey all very fresh delicious onion rings big old twirl on them onion rings um i would definitely come back to get any of those things and they've got such great sandwiches and it's so reasonable like you can get a a, a blt for 349 or an egg salad sandwich for 249 or the chuck wagon was only 329 mm. and the hot dogs are 249 so it's a budget uh budget good and you are here with friends because they do treat you like family uh and we we bellied right up to the bar and they were just, just been so kind so i again don't know why it's taken me so long at come into Frank Allen's but two thumbs up two fork twirls onion ring twirl the whole the whole deal so yeah Brooks you're gonna close us out all right what do you want to talk about I want to talk about Frank Allen's I want to talk about how everything here is done so fresh it's so good the slaw really is the star of the show I know I've said that before um, like I said, I have another gas station favorite for hamburgers in Sevier County. I might get ostracized for saying that, but I, I, that's just the truth. Go easy on them, guys. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So I can't help that. I don't come here for that anyway. I come here for the slaw dog. I come here for the hamburger steak dinner. I like that. I like the toast. I like the fries. I like the slaw. You can't beat the price on that either. With no. seven dollars and twenty-nine cents yeah, for that whole plate. Yeah, for that whole plate. <laughs> And they're patting out the hamburger steak. They do it long way, like hoagie style almost. Um, because again, it's ground round, it's 85.15. It is patted out fresh daily here. Uh, the unique thing about the grill, the grill top, they use a butter flavored oil. That's how they make the burgers here and that's how they make the hamburger steak and chip tan, everything that you get has that nice butter flavored oil. That's what it is. It is a greasy spoon, a local institution, a family stop, a get-together place, a hangout. It's whatever you want it to be, but it's local, and it's just good. Like I said, my second cousin Nancy works here. I met Nancy today. It's all about community <laughs> and family. That <laughs> yeah. is the bottom line. <laughs> so, it really is. Uh, the prices, you cannot be. It's a great budget place if you're just looking for a quick stop for lunch. Want to take a picnic out to the city park? Yeah, whatever you want to do. Go. Yeah, go out to Douglas Dam's not far from here. Take it out to the lake, have you a little picnic. And like I said, we just love it. I love it. I grew up with it. I grew up with Frank himself. And um, well, we just love it here. So 
we think you're gonna love it too you got to come out and get you a slaw dog so but for now all i can say is is that we want you to hit that like button we want you to smash it because if you like this video that's what we want you to do subscribe to the channel if you haven't we've got so much more coming up for you uh not stopping here and ringy dingy school is in anytime we want you to hit that notification bell so that you know when we've got new content posted but for now she is christy i'm brooks from the famous frank allen market and grill here in Sevierville. god bless you we love you we can't wait to show you what's next god bless everybody and hashtag fork twirls forever fork twirls forever